Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for being here. My name is Andrew coming to you from beautiful Costa Rica. Today's topic is going to be the smear campaign, the ending of the relationship, and the silver lining that the smear campaign has for you. Kind of a long topic, but the video will be pretty, pretty brief on this one. Guys, if you like the content, please subscribe. So, the narcissistic relationship is over and the smear campaign has taken place. Now, this may have taken place to many different levels in your situation, in your former relationship, but the narcissist, rest assured, did smear you in some capacity. How much? Don't know. Point is this. When they smeared you, what they were trying to do, and I'm certain they accomplished this to some degree, is they were trying to let everybody know, flying monkeys, friends, family, even business associates, whomever, what a terrible person you are and the things that you did that were bad and all the negativity that of course they're creating in people's heads to make you look bad and make they, them look good. The reason they're doing this is because they want to get, um, they, want, they, need, they don't want to tell the truth and face the music and reveal that they were a narcissist. So they need someone to blame, just like in every other aspect of their life. And you are the punching bag. You're the reason, you're the person they're gonna be blaming for everything. Now, there are different levels of the smear campaign. I'm not gonna get into that, but you know, some of these can be extremely devastating. Some of them can be brief, and some can be intermittent, intermediate, whatever that word is, intermediate, sorry. The point being is when the smear campaign happens, many of your family and friends or, or associates will be like, what is this? That's not the person I know. That's not the person that I've, I've known my whole life or the last 20 years or whatever. And they're gonna question the narcissist's uh, intentions and, and the things that they're saying about you. Now, you're gonna find out here that the people that are listening to the narcissist, many will believe them for whatever reason. And the people that believe them, they weren't your friends anyway. And I know it's a difficult pill to swallow. It's exactly what I went through. But the point is they weren't your friends anyway, so we're not gonna talk about those people in this video. What we're talking about is the silver lining in the smear campaign. So, it's over with, it's done. You're hearing some rumors, you're hearing some things, and you're like, I can't believe this. Why would this person say these things? Well, remember, the, the, the narcissist is saying all these things to destroy you. Remember, they've just discarded you or you, the relationship has ended and they need to have the upper hand at all uh, costs, which means they need to have control. And the smear campaign is one of the final tools or instruments that they use to destroy you. So, here's the silver lining. If the smear campaign was so bad and so destructive and so devastating that you lost friends and maybe family members don't talk to you or people see you in a different light now, this is actually something very difficult to go through, but you know it wasn't true. You know that all those things were fabricated and they were made up and contrived. And yes, the truth will come out eventually in some capacity. That's my hope at least. But if you took the high road like I did and just continue to move forward and not concern yourself with the smear campaign and not concern yourself with alleged fake friends and people that didn't believe in you and people that didn't take time to invest in you and figure out, the point is um, when the relationship ended, they didn't take the time to contact you and say, hey, are you all right? What's going on? Like, I'm hearing some things here and I'm not really sure if I believe them. Do you wanna grab a coffee? Honestly, guys, in my case, that didn't happen. But this one isn't about me, it's about the silver lining and I'm almost there. Here's the beauty of it. Yes, I said that word, sorry, but it's difficult. The thing is this, if you are smeared so badly that it, basically no one even, they don't want anything to do with you or they can't, they, they can't believe what a nasty person you were and all that, which you know isn't true, none of this stuff is true. You actually gave to a fault. You gave to a fault so much that you gave your time, energy, love, money, everything, that you're fortunate to be on this planet, just like me right now. And I am extremely blessed and fortunate to be on this planet. But here's the beauty. Now that I made it through, and maybe you did too, and you, the smear campaign's over and you put it in the rear view mirror, here's the greatest thing ever. Because the smear campaign was so destructive and devastating and manipulating, and it was full of lies and deceit and destruction, meant to tear you down, meant to put that last nail in your coffin. Yes, I know it's graphic, I'm sorry. I don't like to be graphic on the channel, but that was the intention of the narcissist and you know it and I know it. But here's where it gets good. You see, the narcissist, they can't come back into your life in any capacity. 
Remember, the narcissist, it's a circle, it's a loop. Love bomb, deval, discard, rinse, wash, repeat, all these things. They can't do it. Why? Because they smeared you so badly that if they actually even wanted to go back to you, they can't. Because all the lies and all the nonsense and all the untruths that they spoke about you, they would have to untangle all of those, paint you white again. Remember, everything the narcissist sees is black or white, and you're black, I'm black. Meaning, and it just means black, white, and it's just good or bad or whatever. But the point is, they would have to paint you white again. And do you know how much work and time and effort that would be? That would mean that the narcissist would be wrong. And can the narcissist be wrong? Not in their minds. So what they did is they weren't playing the long game, they were playing the short game. In other words, I'm gonna discard this person, move on, smear them, destroy them. Hopefully they don't even exist on this planet anymore. Yes, I do mean that, and one day I'll do a video about it. But then, they, when, they, when the new supply, their new supply, and I hope you guys are following this, doesn't quite fit the bill. They weren't the grade A supply that you are. They weren't the three and a half pound main lobster tail that you are. And this will happen because you're a special person because you're on this channel and you're educating yourself and not many people do this. The thing is, when the new supply runs dry and the narcissist wants to go back to you, I mean you watching this video, they can't because they smeared you so badly and now you're off limits. Because in other words, for them to actually be able to, to contact you and to, to try and get you back into their web of lies and deceit, and we don't want that, remember. That's a no. It's a 100% no. They should be blocked everywhere. These people are parasitic, blood-sucking energy vampires. But even if they wanted to, they can't. And this is where they played themselves. Because you see, they traded you in, the grade A supply, for a new supply who didn't even meet, <laughs> they didn't even pass the test. And now the narcissist is scrambling for supply that is on your level. Of which they probably, and sincerely I mean this, will never find the supply that you offer because you are a beautiful, absolutely amazing, empowered, unbelievable human being. And not many people are like you. Why do you say that? I'll tell you why I say that. Because you're educating yourself on my channel and many others, and you're becoming enlightened and empowered. And sincerely, in this day and age of all the, the social technology and everything, a lot of people just watch uh, memes and things like that. Not you. You're empowered, you're educating yourself. But getting back on track, so now the narcissist, their new supply has faded. They're not doing what they need to be doing for the narcissist. The narcissist is, is in high, high alert mode again. Oh my God, what am I gonna, blah, blah, blah. and they're thinking, oh my God, the discard, remember I discarded them, which is you, I'm gonna go back. But they can't because they smeared you so bad. You're now free. Your life is now a clear path to the best version of you possible. And yes, when you were, uh, when you were discarded by the narcissist, it was difficult, some of the most grueling, unbelievably painful times of your entire life, mine too. But now that you're through it and you've made it, you should embrace this. You see, the narcissist played themselves in the end. What they did is they painted themselves in a corner. And now what they need to do is they need to be on a constant search, as you know, for supply. And every time they get new supply, they need to hope and pray that it's the grade A that you are. And guess what? Sincerely, it won't be because you are a diamond in the rough. You are unique, you are beautiful, you are energetic. You are the empath. You are the beautiful person who now shines brighter than ever. You are the person they want. And guess what? They can't because you're now empowered. You understand what narcissism is. You understand what you went through. Most importantly, when that smear campaign happened and they painted you the way they did, they didn't realize that they were actually painting themselves directly out of your life. So guys, take that, think about it. It's the silver lining in the smear campaign. Once you put in all the time and you get through every part of the narcissistic relationship, including discard and then smear campaign, you will understand that this was actually the best blessing in disguise possible for you. So the narcissist isn't as smart as some people think. And personally, I don't believe they're smart at all. I'm not being mean to people. I just think that... <laughs> I think they have a lot of growing up to do and they have a lot of understanding to do, of which they never will. Having said that, you are the empath. You're the beautiful, bright, shining light. So take this message, play it a few times, share it with people that need to understand it. But this is true, it's real, it's reality. You're now free from the narcissist. You're now empowered. You now know how to protect yourself and build boundaries. 
And when the narcissist, maybe they try to hoover you or whatever they do, it's a no. Get rid of them. Goodbye. Scum of the earth. Parasites. Energy vampires. No. Absolutely not. You gave the best of you. You went through the fire. You're empowered. Now you are on the clear path to find somebody who is like you, who is educated, enlightened, and beautiful. God bless you all. I hope you guys liked the video. I loved doing it. From beautiful Costa Rica, this is Andrew. Remember, you guys, be blessed. Namaste. I love you.